Hello, and how's everyone doing today? Welcome to the channel if you're new. If you're returning view, I'm glad to have you back, and welcome to another episode of Fallout 4. In the last episode, we began Kitty Kingdom. Um, I forgot um, what Kitty Kingdom was all about. I forgot it was about uh, all the ghouls and the radiation. I forgot that this place was quite, quite dangerous. Um... In today's episode, like I stated at the end of the last episode, I went and I grabbed some power armor. Uh, I got the Black Devil power armor, the one you guys would know as the Enclave power armor from Fallout 3. Um, <clears throat> I painted it yellow. Um, the yellow paint job actually has a higher resist against radiation. So I painted all the parts yellow to give me that extra boost of radiation. Uh, protection. I decided to bring Kate with us um, so she can use the flamethrower against the uh, ghouls. I mean the flamer, sorry, not the flamethrower. The flamer uh, against all the ghouls and stuff because that extra bit of um, damage will definitely help us out. I did manage to level up uh, behind the scenes and I picked a perk that made our companions just a little bit stronger. Uh, so I took that so our companions should be a little bit stronger. Um, all right. So now we have to search the theater. Uh, let's grab our drinks, grab our snacks, and uh, let's continue Kitty Kingdom. Okay, as you can see, the power armor is a nice yellow color. It looks really strange seeing this in yellow. I'm so used to it being like a onyx black color. Or something you know um, but yeah hopefully this will help us a little bit you can see our radiation meter is already going up um, all right let's go in here Nuka or King Cola's court let's take a look at this well let's just explore a little bit first it seems to be safe in here I also remodified this um, Gatling laser. I took off the charging barrels um, because, as you guys know, in the previous episodes, the charging barrel just made the thing fire a lot slower. Um, we did lose quite a bit like of uh, damage bit. as well. Um, it dropped from 65 damage to 21 damage, I think. So we did lose quite a bit of damage, but the thing fires, fires a lot faster. So we do have the, um, the speed of which the attack... I can't even talk properly. Basically, the speed of the gun um, should be able to do more damage um, over time, if that makes any sense. Huh? The show you've all been waiting for! Huh? Oswald the Outrageous! Who? Oh. I'll admit, I didn't think you'd make it this far. Whoa, I can tell you? you're different than the usual invaders. So I'll not bother with the usual tricks and illusions I use to scare off the superstitious. When the bombs fell, everything changed. We changed. And somehow, I received a gift. Actual magic. The stuff of legends. Perhaps you'd like to see some. Up! <coughs> no matter what you do, oh. I can heal my friends, and we will protect what is ours. Oh, jeez. Oh, he's attacking us. Okay. Oh, thank God. Okay. Um. Oh, jeez. You disappeared. Wait. 
well then. Oswald the Magnificent, I think he said his name was. So now we know who's been doing all the radiation and stuff. Um, let's take a look around more. There must be a little bit more here to explore. Looks like there's an elevator. The elevator isn't functioning. Okay, I guess we can't. Well, let's look around a little bit first before we just, you know, leave here and all that. <coughs> Oh, what do we got in here? Perfect. Nuka Berry. That sounds yummy. Gwyneth Beer. Girls, girls, girls. See our after theater dinner menu. Huh. Pretty cool. So what it says. I'm going to guess this is the bathroom, probably. Oh, no. It's another... Oh my god, that's adorable. <laughs> I love that. Oh, there's a bunch of them. Well, let's just grab these ones. These ones aren't really doing much. I guess these guys are asleep or something. <clears throat> these guys are... Well, I guess they're playing a game. This guy, oh, he's asleep, I guess. Got the, oh, geez, like, or may, unless he's drunk. Looks like there's throw up on the floor. <clears throat> I think this bear's supposed to be drunk. Oh, geez. Well, white bear at it again. Okay. That was actually pretty cute, not gonna lie. Okay, I think that my, oh no, right, we gotta go upstairs. I guess that's it, okay. The one thing if I had to say something positive, positive about Fallout 4, it's definitely the um, the power armor. They did the power armor so well in this game. All right, so I think we have one one place left to uh, explore. He won, I think. Okay. So, we have one more place, and I guess it's across the way here. Or maybe not. Search the tunnels, okay. Okay. Where are the tunnels? Oh, can we go on down here? Nope, okay. How do we get to the tunnels? <clears throat> Alright, let's just go around. Maybe we have to go up and around, maybe. Because it says right there. Um, At least with the whoops. I thought this was just gonna be a regular door. Well, whatever. We can explore in here a little bit, I guess. Rachel's terminal. Ooh. I might be able huh? to get that open. Just saying. Yo, you wanna try? Hey. Okay, this here you can try. I think you can unlock that. I'm out of bobby pins. Have it any on you? Oh, Nothing's I have some. more satisfying than a smoking gun and a pocket full of cash. Hey. Aw, oh, I have And some. here I thought you wanted to snuggle. <laughs> Maybe later, Kate. Maybe later. Um, 
Do I not have any? Oh, I do. So we're going to give her, what, like half of these. There we go. There's no enemies. We can put our hey. weapons away. Mm -hmm. See what you can do. Yep, I've got it. All right, so she can do that. Since she brought it up. Finally, a bit of a challenge. I'll see what I can do. Damn! Broke a pin. I'll try again. Damn! This lock's pissing me off. Yeah, that yellow is actually really level. cool looking, huh? honestly. Not worth it. This one's a tough one. Keep trying, don't Heads give up. up. Yeah. Need your expertise. Will do. Yeah, don't give up. Okay, so while she's doing that, I'm gonna go upstairs here yeah. and take a look. This one might be a problem, but I can try. Oh yeah. I love that click. Locks open. Oh nice. Good job. Launder dress. So we can put her in her dress put her in a dress. The people of Ten Pines Bluff are very unhappy. You may lose control of the settlement if things do not improve. Yeah, that's fine. Heads up. What you need? Let's see, your laundered dress. Where is that? Oh, she doesn't do look too bad. Hey, over here. Sure, sure. Just keep your shirt on. Yeah, she actually doesn't look too bad in that. Look alive. This is my favorite part of the job. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the combat armor and stuff off, and uh, there we go. Yeah, she actually doesn't look half bad. Look alive. What's yours is mine, right, darling? Okay, so let's put her back in her stuff now. Okay. Okay, Rachel's terminal. Let's take a good look and let's see who Rachel is. Got it. Oh. User logs. Okay, let's see here. I got the part. I got I got the Princess Cherry part. Technically dad thinks I got an internship working with the beverager beverageers. At least I got a job working at Nuka World, which means I can wait I I can wait and get to know some of them before applying. I mean, I love acting, but I still want to <coughs> put together a rather expensive organic chemistry degree good to use. I can't even read. My boyfriend, Oswald. Oh, Oswald, we heard that name before. And the rest of, <coughs> of the gang passed out here in the tower after they threw me a party. All of us got drunk and came up with this ridiculous plan to take over the park if the war ever got bad. Like nuclear bad. We all agreed. But instead of shaking on it, we did a round of shots. Here's to twenty seventy seven. I hope it's a hell of a good year. Oof. Uh moving on up. We've got our defenses set up. Now things are starting to look a little bit better thanks to my background. I've sort of become an unofficial doctor of our raggedy little bunch. Oswald has been so supportive and he's been and he's continued to manage this whole crisis like a real leader. I'm so proud of him. Whatever that horrible radiation storm did to us, everyone is having bad reactions. But here, <clears throat> but there are others literally dying from it. I wish I could do more to help everyone, but I'm an organic chemist, not a surgeon. I don't have the heart to tell people as, oh, tell people that as they're dying in my arms. So I just keep it to myself and try and give them hope. Oh man, does that that actually reminds me. Of an of the note uh, just out of the German uh, German town police station <coughs> um, in Fallout Three, where the military and stuff um, <coughs> had the shelters set up, the tents there, and the terminal where um, the soldiers or whatever I can't remember her name, but there's a soldier, and um, they're trying to help people and stuff, and their hair is falling out and they're freaking out. And then their hair starts falling out. 
um, <coughs> you know, so they're trying to hide it so they keep everybody, you know, at least a little bit more <coughs> um, things a bit more calm and stuff. And oh man, it's just it's crazy. But that's what this story kind of reminds me of a little bit. The affliction. Okay, <coughs> my good friend Fran succumbed to the affliction a few days ago, and I've just been a wreck. Dean and Oswald boarded her up in a house before she tried to attack anyone, which I don't think I could have taken. Oswald stayed the night up here and just held me while I cried. I tried to apologize to him for falling apart like this when it needed me the most, but, but I knew her since elementary school, and I couldn't hold it in any longer. I hate this place. I think the affliction is probably them uh, going feral, um, that's what I'm assuming. Magic is real. There was a huge attack this week that pushed us all the way back, oh, all the way to the back of the castle gate. Just when we were about to fall back to the theater, a bunch of the afflicted started crawling out of their houses and started helping us out. But as our attackers were retreating, my body froze when I saw a stray bullet hit Dean, and it looked like he was dead. But Oswald did something. This glow came out of his body, flowing like a wave. Suddenly, Dean started breathing again. After the attack ended, we all looked at Oswald and he started muttering something about using real magic. Most of us didn't know what to think. Me? I don't care what the hell you call it. Maybe we can use it to cure the affliction. Either way, I gave him a huge kiss for saving Dean's life. Now, if you remember, it's not actually magic, um, because Oswald has turned into a glowing one. Um, if you guys remember, even from past Fallout games, um, they can do this thing where they do this burst of radiation energy out of their body, because it's, uh, they're basically a conduit. They have so much radiation in their body that they basically release, release it in this, like, kind of almost like an explosion. And the radiation <coughs> actually heals the ghouls and brings it back alive. So essentially that's what he's doing. He's just using um, that <coughs> sort of energy power. I'm not really sure exactly what to call it. I guess, you know, like a release of radiation. So basically that's what he's using. Um, <coughs> leaving to find a cure. We've tried everything we can think of, exhausted every option, not even Oswald's powers uh, can seem to stop the affliction. There's only a handful of us left and we're running out of time. I don't know what will happen. Oh, I don't know what will get us first. The raiders who moved into Nuka Town or the affliction. So that's it. I've talked it over with Oswald and he is going to stay in Kitty Kingdom to keep everyone safe while I go find a cure. I felt awful leaving everyone behind, especially off Oswald. But I really have no other options. I'm going to head over to the t town of Bradburton near the park and start there. It, this is a huge gamble, but it better pay off. Oh, man. Uh, King Colo's court cast. Okay, so that's just... <coughs> I think this is all pre-war stuff. Uh... Oh, what's the other thing Looking I locked? Something useful in that thing. Oh, I locked it. I wonder... I doubt it, but I want to see something. Oh, damn it. Nice. Okay, so let's see here. Can I lock it and then... Just literally keep farming that for experience. I wonder if you can. Sweet. Wow. So if I really wanted to, you could sit here and just keep doing that. We're not going to do that, though. Okay, so. Wait there. Leaving Oops. me behind. Come on. It's your funeral. All right, let's go. Interesting. So Oswald is basically trying to protect, <clears throat> you know, uh, the Kitty Kingdom because he thinks 
that his girlfriend, Rachel, is going to return. I don't know if we can find Rachel. I'm not too sure. Um, I guess we'll have to see, though. Also, we got to find a way to get into the sewers, or the tunnels, as they call it. Um, oh, here's a... Have some fun. Is that all you've got? Okay, so can I go down like this? Okay. Because I'm honestly not sure where um, the tunnels are. Because it says, you know, to go over here. Oh, what's this over here? Let's just check this. Oh, come on. Yes. Okay. Um, if I can't find it, I guess I'm going to have to make some sort of cut. Um... I don't really like doing that. I like doing the videos uh, straight through. You know, so you guys don't miss anything. Um, but apparently, I guess... Oh, I see. He set rock launchers up as, you know, as traps. That's why that happened. Okay. Um, oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, shit. Is this the tunnel here? This might be the tunnel. Yep, here we go. Employee tunnels. Okay, let's take a look. Okay, so what do we have what in the tunnel? Are you out of costume again? You know Nuka fires people for breaking character. Yes, of course, I'm kidding. But seriously, the clown makeup helps scare the invaders off. And there's a new one in the park. No, no, I don't think that's going to work this time. There's something different about this one. See, hmm. I can do that too. Now, stop squirming. Sorry. I know you can't help it. We just have to hold out till she gets back with a cure. Then we'll drive the raiders out and get the farm back in order. We'll fix this. I promise. There. Back in character. I need to prepare some more surprises for our visitor. So I'll leave you to find your way out. I wonder if we oh, completed search of the tunnels. Well, that was easy. Well, let's just explore this first. Because I don't want to leave just yet. So he doesn't really seem like a bad guy, to be honest. Oh, also, I made, I put the very bright um, headlamp on this so we can see much easier. It does get really hard on the eyes sometimes, so depending... Um, if you're in a small area. I wish you could tweak it on the go. Oh, I thought that was like a rat scorpion tail or something over here. I was like, oh my god, no. Because I didn't want to deal with one of those guys. Sorry. So let's come down here and see. So it doesn't look like there's any ghouls or, <clears throat> or anything down here. You know what? The thing is, like, I do feel bad for Oswald, honestly. Because we're not bad.
but he's also just defending his home. So, like, I don't really blame him for him for attacking, but you know, it's just sad that um, you hear that? that he feels like he has to. Oh, I guess it's a glass window. Um, but like I said, I just feel bad. You know? Because he's just defending his home. No wiping the floor with you. Is there any, all right, so is there anything in this room? Okay, so just lots and lots of paint. Summer shorts. All this paint. Kitty Kingdom Tunnels Key. Oh. Oh, pump control system. Alright, let's do this. Um <clears throat> systematic turn off mist sprayers. Oh thank God. Okay. So now the mist sprayers are off, so I'm hoping hoping I'm safe outside now. That doesn't look very I mean that looks really cool, but obviously it's full of radiation and all that, the water here, but man, it looks really cool looking. Alright, so I guess that's all we gotta do. I guess we have to get out of here now. Um, how do we get out of here? Get to a custom marker so we can get out of here. But I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to battle him though, because he's not bad and we're not bad. I, you know, I don't want to hurt him. I hope there's a way that we can talk him out of this, because I really don't want to, don't want to fight him. Okay, um... Okay, let's go to King Cola's castle. And he said to go to the very top. Again, I really do honestly hope... You know, that there is a way to... Um... Talk this out peacefully. Alright, so I took my helmet. Oh, okay. Okay, let's go. Oh, now we can put the roof on. Or go to the roof. I can't even talk today. I'm gonna be jumping at the goddamn shadows next. You'll be okay. Alright. Okay, I really hope we can talk him out of it. You raiders are all the same. You come into someone's home, steal their belongings, and kill those they care about. I'm not going to let you kill any more <laughs> of my friends. This is our home, not yours. And without bloodshed. I'm not your enemy. This can end without bloodshed. We've defended this place for over 200 years. Do you think you're the first outsider I've met that's chosen to brand feral ghouls as monsters? How many of them have you needlessly slaughtered while ignorantly thinking you're doing the world a favor? Been there. You've been here for 200 years? 
Why? We worked here as entertainers until the bombs fell. The radiation may have changed us, but we decided to make this place our home. Over time, the illness took the minds of my friends and those that we love. I am going to find a cure and fix my friends before someone like you comes along and exterminates us all. Just leave. It's too late. Done talking. It's too late. Ghouls like your friends. It's too late for them. The radiation changed them. Forever. So you're admitting my friends are sick, and yet you try to kill them anyway? I'd say that makes you the only monster around here. It's not a sickness. It's not a sickness. The radiation has consumed their minds. They've become feral. You're wrong. Rachel is going to find a way to cure them. We're going to fix this. My beloved left this place years ago to find a cure to this disease. In return, I swore that I'd keep our people safe by defending our home. When Rachel walks back through those gates with the cure in hand, then you'll see, everyone will see, that I was right. There's no cure. Go help her. <sighs> Go help if her. there is a cure, the only way she'll find it is with your help. Maybe you're right. If Rachel is still out there, I'll find her, and we'll search for this cure together. I'll gather what remains of my friends, and we'll leave this place in your care. Don't worry about the radiation. It will no longer be a burden to you and your kind. Here, you should have this. Consider it an apology for misjudging you. Ooh, I see here. Uh, Sword of Wonders. Ignore 30% of the target's uh, damage and energy resistance. Ooh. That's nice. This reminds me of that, um, oh, what do you call it? Energy sword thing from v uh, General, I think, Zheng, Zheng Wei. Uh, Shock Sword from uh, Fallout 3. Oswald's Top Hat increases the wearer's movement by 10%. Cool. Nice. I'm really glad I was able to do that without bloodshed. Alright. I signed a gang to Kitty Kingdom. Okay. Uh, the operators, like usual. Speak to Gage. Assigned <coughs> a gang. I think we've pretty much assigned a gang to everybody. All right. So, with that being said, a magical kingdom is complete. And I think that we will end today's episode right here. All right. So now we shall go back to trying to find it. The fifth top row. Okay, awesome. Oh man, we got it looks like we got a lot of stuff. Let's drop all of that in there. We wanna go like this. That's in there, alright. We'll put that on. And we should have our nice black suit. Now that looks really cool. 
Hey. What is it? Oh, come on. Here we go. Sure. Be glad hey. to take... I... Um... Oh, yeah, I forgot. She had a red dress that I forgot to show you guys, which she looks quite nice in. I mean, hold some stuff for you. Alrighty, so let's, um... Get her to sit. Hey. Point out what you need and I'll get right on it. Go check that out. There's no way I can reach that. Really? Or not. Um All right. They can sit on this couch. Check it out. Yep, I've got it. Come on, run. Yeah, sit on the couch. Come on. All right. And now we can save this episode right up. Alrighty, I'm really glad that we were able to uh, resolve <clears throat> Oswald's dilemma um, peacefully because I didn't want to attack him because he's not an evil character. <clears throat> um, unfortunately, he's right about the raiders taking over the area, <clears throat> but at least he knows that we um, personally are not, you know, we're not bad, you know. Um, and he's not bad either. So I'm really glad that we were able to um, <coughs> resolve it peaceably. peacefully. And um, yeah, so uh, I guess in the next episode, we are going to be talking to Gage and see what, what's going to happen next. Um, with that being said, uh, if you enjoyed this episode, feel free to leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that fun kind of stuff. And I will see you guys in the next episode of Fallout 4.